So this problem, a bullet leaves a rifle with a velocity of 452 meters per second. While accelerating through the barrel of the rifle, the bullet moves a distance of 0 0.93 meters. Determine the acceleration of the bullet. So the first thing I'm going to do is to draw a picture to help me illustrate the situation. Now it doesn't have to be anything amazing. I'm just going to say that the barrel of the rifle just looks like a rectangle. And this is what my bullet looks like. This is where it starts before the bullet, before the gun is fired, and then it gets fired and this thing accelerates. So it goes faster and faster and faster before it finally leaves the barrel of the gun. So this is where the bullet starts. This is where the bullet ends up. And this should be enough for me to try to identify the variables and always relate it back to this drawing. My starting position uh, is zero. The final position I can say is 0.93 meters. What this really means is, I'm just making the assumption that it starts off at a position of zero meters, but really this is the displacement, 0.93 meters. Uh, other things, let's see. While the bullet does leave with a velocity of 452 meters per second, I'm going to say it starts off before it gets fired, not moving. So the velocity is zero meters per second. That means the final velocity is 452 meters per second. We are solving for the acceleration. That's what we're trying to solve for. We are not given the time and we might not need to solve for the time. So I'm just going to omit that from my list. Now I just need to select an equation. I only have one equation without time in it. That's going to be my v squared equals 2a delta x plus v naught squared equation. I do know the final velocity, I know the displacement, and I know the starting velocity. So it has all the variables that I know, as well as the acceleration what I'm solving for. So this equation will end up working. While I could plug in the numbers and then rearrange it, I think I'm going to solve it algebraically first, and then that'll just be the setup, and then we can just plug in the numbers into a calculator later on to determine the acceleration. So what I'm going to do is I need to isolate my acceleration. So to do that, I'm going to subtract my initial velocity squared from both sides. So that means that the left side of my equation is now v squared minus v naught squared. That's equal to 2a delta x on the right side of my equal sign. To isolate the a even further, I will divide both sides by 2 times the displacement. That ends up canceling out the 2 and the displacement on the right hand side, which means v squared minus v naught squared all over 2 delta x is equal to our acceleration. So this is an algebraic way of solving this problem. At this point, I just need to plug in my values. I know the final velocity is 452 meters per, that should be an s, seconds. All of that gets squared minus my starting velocity of zero meters per second squared. All of that divided by two times my displacement, which is 0 0.93 meters. Once I have this all set up, I'm going to grab a calculator in order to figure out what these values are going to be. So my acceleration is going to be equal to 452 squared, which is 204,304 meters squared over second squared, minus zero squared, which is zero meters squared over second squared. All of that is going to be over the 0.93 times 2, which is going to be 1.86 meters. Then, when I take the numerator, 204,304 minus 0, which is 204,304 meters per square second, and divide it by the denominator, I will end up with an acceleration value of 109,840 0.8602. Now, because my numerator is meters squared over second squared, and my denominator is meters, this simplifies down to meters per square second, which is indeed the units of acceleration.